I was born in Chicago, Illinois on December 12, 1920. I was the surviving child of a pair of twin girls. I was the oldest of three kids, with a little brother and sister. Us kids grew up during the time of the Great Depression in America and our family often struggled financially. Growing up my father was often very ill from gastrointestinal problems and required nursing care. This is where my interest in nursing began. The same year I finished my nursing, I married my husband, Edwin Levine, a scholar in the army. During our time together we had three children, two boys and one girl. The eldest boy died at the age of three. In 1944, I received my diploma at the Kerr County School of Nursing in Chicago. In 1949 I upgraded to my bachelor's degree at the University of Chicago. I did it. I got my master's in 1962. After I got my diploma, I worked for a year as a private duty nurse. In 1945, I started work for the U.S. Army as a civilian nurse. In 1950, I got the job as the director of nursing at Rexel Home, a geriatric facility. It was then I realized my real love was teaching, not administration. Between the years of 1951 and 1962, I worked at two separate hospitals as a surgical supervisor. After I received my master's in 1962, I taught at many institutions and worked all the way up the academic ranks to the University of Illinois. In 1974 I went to a university in Israel as a visiting professor. I enjoyed it so much, I returned again in 1982. Although I retired in 1987, I continued to remain active in theory development and research. Over the years I received many honors. The ones I am most proud of include I was the first recipient of an award for excellence in teaching from Sigma Theta Tau. In 1990, I was recognized for my outstanding contributions to nursing. And my most proud award was an honorary doctorate of humane letters from Loyola University. Over the years, I published two copies of my book. Introduction to Clinical Nursing They came out in 1969 and 1973. Both editions won the American Journal of Nursing Book of the Year Awards. In 1989, I made changes to my theory in my final publication which was called The Four Conservation Principles. Twenty years later, There were a few people who inspired the development of my theory. Meet a couple of my favorites. I'm Irene Belland and I was one of Meyer's teachers. My theory was of specific causative factors for disease. Gibson here. Meyer was inspired by my theory of perception as a mediator of behavior. My name is Eric Erickson. Miss Levine utilized my definition of wholeness in her theory. I am Bates. Maya utilized my model of external environment. I'm Ansela. I created a theory on stress. Giggity giggity. You all know me, Florence Nightingale. 
My guardian activity of observation's importance to the nursing process inspired Levine. I never set out to develop a theory. My intention was to teach my students a new approach to patient-centered care. Unfortunately, in 1996 I died at the age of 75.